before I can move on from this page, I need to do some cross-browser testing. I'm going to upload it to the web page because it's no good if it's fully functional on my own computer, not online, and and validate against the W3C uh, online validator to make sure that my code's uh, all good. Now, when I look at it through Firefox, it seems to be working fine. So I know that I know that web um, rather Mozilla is working well. So it's either Safari or Chrome at this point that I could double check as well, and there's no problems there and when I bring it up in Internet Explorer I see that there's actually some borders around the images but those could be uh, taken out if you want them out pretty easily okay those are good actually if you want to take out those images uh, the borders around those images you could just with some CSS go main content IMG for it to target the images and then we'll do border zero and that should uh, make them look consistent in uh, Internet C Explorer okay there you go you see how it took out the borders although you know I'm, uh, I'm wondering whether or not it actually be pretty cool to add some borders to it um, hmm let me see actually I think that would be kinda cool uh, let's see I'll add a solid line um, and maybe I'll just keep it thin and make it nice and black let's see what that looks like Oops. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I, you know, I, I, I kind of, I kind of like it. I kind of don't. I wonder if I could use border radius on there. Border radius is a um, CSS three tag that you know it doesn't always work on stuff. Oh, look at that. Uh, you see, I just added border radius, and it just rounded out the corners for me. Uh, hey, I think that's I think that's actually okay. I will keep that, and maybe what I'll do is make these borders how about a little bit thicker, since I'm doing that anyway. Let's see. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's you know what? That's that's totally cool. Um, Let's see if I refresh this. See, the border radius doesn't really work in Internet Explorer, and it kind of uh, got my my layout a bit screwy over here. Um, well, I'll I'll I'll, t I'll tweak it. I, I could tweak tweak that just the way I want it to be. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll go back to all right. You know, I could I could sit here and and uh, I could sit here and tweak this border till tomorrow. I just don't want to find myself doing that often. You know, you kind of sit there and <laughs> once you once you do the heavy lifting, you 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 find yourself wasting a lot of time just messing around with this. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. I'll worry about the, the layout issues in Internet Explorer a little bit later. Um, the border radius doesn't even work in there, which is kind of a kind of a bummer. Um, okay, we'll we'll see what I could do about that uh, later. But I guess what I need to do now is actually upload all this, and hopefully, uh, let's see. I, I got a, got a good amount of stuff that I need to upload over here. So let me just bring out my browser, and I think I need to upload my entire images folder because uh, those are a bunch of new images over there I'll down upload the JS folder the lightbox and pictures that HTML so I am gonna put these bad boys up over there right that it's my put button yep and I'll just wait a little while while this happens alright everything's uploaded so let's see what it looks like online so I'm gonna go from my local to my dragos19.site90.com uh, now look I'm actually the internet connection that I have here is is pretty crappy 
um, and you see that's what it may look to some users. I wonder if I should reconsider um, optimizing my page some of these images so let me click to pictures and see what it looks like here it's taking a bit longer so uh, I am a little concerned now I'll tell you what my my connection where I'm at here I'm not at home it's it's always been really bad but um, eh, look look what's happening at least we get to see what it looks like my jellyfish is loading slow mmm Yep, all these things are loading up, and then if I click here, oh, maybe my my files did not, uh, not all my files seem to have been uploaded. Let's see, picture, a little bit slow goings over here. Did my, all my JavaScript files come? Let's see. All right, let's see what we have. And if I click here, ah, there we go. Looking good. See, my internet connection here is a bit slow. So we actually get to see them downloading these files as we speak. And, and uh, that little animated GIF that we have that does that is pretty slick. All right, nice. Now let me preview it through Internet Explorer. Now. If you have to make sure you're on the right uh, the right URL, not not your local. The the place I'm at now that I work often, our internet could be incredibly slow, which is you know for the most part highly annoying. But it at least it, it gives you an idea of what some visitors may how they may see your site at slower speeds. So um, I know not everybody has like blazing fast internet like I do at my house, but that's why you know sometimes you don't realize when you're behind a really good internet connection how image optimization could play a big part in what you're doing. So I'm glad to see that this thing kind of corrected itself. In Internet Explorer, my layout. I didn't do anything to attempt to fix that. I thought when I messed with the borders, it, it screwed it up. But anyway, I'm pretty satisfied. I, I see the fun. It's all functioning well. So let me first validate my CSS. Hopefully, all is good. Ooh, all is not good. It says the border radius property doesn't exist in CSS level 2.1. And you know what? That's correct. It doesn't exist in CSS2 um, because border radius is a CSS3 attribute. This would be considered a uh, false positive because it's fine and it works, but um, but the online validator thinks it's an error. So no worries. This is a it, this error or quote unquote error is not really one so I could look past that and if I look on line 75 it tells me that my my uh, pseudo class nth child is also not a uh, a real or a, a, what is it called an official CSS2 um, class or it's an unknown pseudo element it's unknown because it's CSS3 um, again that's that's just an issue with the browser. You know, standards change, and sometimes that online engine it's a little bit harder for it to um, to be updated. So, uh, whatever. That's all. Those two things are fine. Oh, let me go back to my pictures, and hopefully we don't fall asleep in the process over here. Let me validate the HTML. Keep my keep our fingers crossed over here. Nice. I got the typical four errors and one warning, and all those are because of that analytics code. So um, ah, I'm happy to say that everything is good. I could move on.